accusation from the United Kingdom government to Russia's security service, the FSB. They are being accused of a sustained cyber hacking campaign targeting politicians and others in public life. The government said that one group stole data through cyber attacks, which was later made public, including material linked to the 2019 general election. Among those targeted was an MP who has told the BBC in February that his emails had been stolen uh, and Russia, of course, has repeatedly denied claims that it is involved in such activities. Well, luckily for me, at this moment in the studio, I'm still joined by Philip Ingram, who, of course, is a former senior military intelligence officer. I must also say, delighted to welcome to the studio for this, uh, um, Ben Habib. He's the deputy leader of Reform UK. Lots to talk to you about as well. But Philip Ingram, just in reaction to this breaking news, I mean, I have thought that at all times, the Russians and the Chinese, the Iranians and everyone else is hacking our senior politicians and others in public life. Is this news to you? Is this especially worrying? I'm, I'm not surprised. What's, what's worrying, what's interesting is Leo Doherty's come out um, in Parliament and, and made a clear statement on this. Um, and he's blamed a particular organisation, the Star Blizzard Group, which is um, a, a cyber criminal group linked to Centre 18, which uh, is the controlling element from the Russian Security Service. Now, Russian Security Service do carry out cyber attacks around the, around the world. They're not their foreign intelligence service. That's the SVR. And the GRU is the other organisation that carries out cyber attacks around the place. But not surprised in the slightest. And I think it's important that this comes out prior to all of the detailed discussions going on around the UK's general election, because yeah. they will be trying to interfere. Well, indeed. And of course, Leo Doctor is, is a Foreign Office Minister. He's made this statement in Parliament. Um, I, but this is the thing, we, we, we live in this world, you know, we, we, are, we are basically, you know, helping to fund a, 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 a government in Ukraine that is fighting against the Russians. The Russians regard themselves being at war effective with NATO. We are a key uh, member, a key player in NATO. Um, has this stuff, has it been ramped up? Uh, since the Ukraine war? Is there, is there more going on? Yes, it has been ramped up. Uh, and it's going to be ramped up even more because we've got not just the UK general election and the Russians will come in and try and interfere. They did try and interfere beforehand. But we've got, more importantly, the US presidential election that, that's going on and the run-up yeah. to it at the moment. And with all that's going on around the, the international politics, there's a number of other elections across the world, you know, Indian elections, Kazakhstan elections. Russia will be interfering to cause as much them. disruption as possible because if they get political disruption, they stop political decision-making. Making. They stop what's happening in the United That's States. The budget, the budget, the budget. That's thing. what they want to do. Uh, and of course, Ben Habib, we, we remember the, the, the joyful claims, all false, by the way, about how Russians had interfered in the Brexit. No, we wouldn't have voted for Brexit if it no, wasn't for Russia. If it Russia, wasn't apparently. for good old Vlad. <laughs> yes, exactly. He was in charge of it all. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I want to talk to you about Rwanda policy yeah. and what's going on in the government as well right now. But in terms of your reaction to, to this, um, does this surprise you? What, the hacking? Mm. No, not at all. I mean, I think what you said is absolutely right. They're hacking everyone all the time. And I imagine we're hacking them too, aren't we? I can't... It's not all one-way traffic, is it? <laughs> we, we've, we've got, uh, and it has been admitted, an offensive cyber capability yep. um, that is yeah. looking at de helping to defend the UK. The US have got that. I'd be, yeah. I'd be desperately disappointed oh, yes. if we're not hacking them. Uh, we we, we, we <laughs> do to them what they do to it's us. It's often when we hear these things, I was think, we, we're not doing that? <laughs> I know, why not? When we hear stories about, um, sort of, you know, this is now outrageous, there's been an attempt on a, some horrible foreign despot, some tyrant's life. Um, it's outrageous. The, 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 the British <laughs> Film Forces Secret Service has been involved in that were terrible. I'm thinking, I'm hoping they are going yeah. around murdering tyrants. I mean, I thought that's what we paid them to do. I've, I've been watching telly for years. This is what they do. 